Hello, I'm Harry. Harry Styles is an English singer and actor. Other than that, he is quite famous and has a long list of girlfriends. Hi, I am Alana. In this video, you will get to know about all the relationships of Harry. So, let's get started with his first love. Styles was romantically linked to the late Caroline Flack back in 2011 when he was just 17 years old and she was already in her 30s. Styles met the X Factor presenter when he competed on the show along with the other members of One Direction. I already knew that he had a crush on me, he made it pretty obvious, she had written in her autobiography, Storm in a Sea Cup. He'd said it in magazines and he'd said it to friends. The pair eventually broke up after being criticized for their age gap. Flack died in February 2020 at age 40 by hanging herself in her London home. After his breakup with Caroline, Harry moved on with American model Emma Ostley. The two were spotted kissing in New Zealand. She later appeared in One Direction's music video for Gotta Be You. Styles dated British actress Emily Adak back in 2012. The in-betweeners star stayed quiet about her involvement with the singer and didn't reveal that they dated briefly until two years later. We had a short-lived thing that was just a bit of fun. Then we went off in our opposite directions, she told Reveal magazine in 2014. Harry had a busy 2012. During that year, he also briefly dated Kagi Dunlop, star of the reality show, Made in Chelsea. It's hard to forget the short-lived relationship between these two pop stars, considering the fact that we have photographic evidence of their second date in Central Park. There's also the fact that, depending on who you ask, there are maybe four to six songs about the relationship between the two singers. Many think Style and Out of the Woods are about Haler, as well as I Knew You Were Trouble and I Wish You Would. All of these tracks caused Harry to respond with his song Perfect in 2015. Last year, Harry released Two Ghosts, which many also believed was about his relationship with Taylor thanks to the description of a woman with same lips red, same eyes blue. And then to end this song battle, for now, Taylor came out with Ready For It, another song possibly about Harry because of lyrics like Younger Than My Exes, But He Acts Like Such A Man, So, and But If He's A Ghost Then I Can Be A Phantom, referencing two ghosts. If nothing else, at least we got a lot of great music out of this relationship. Clearly, he likes to date older women. Styles was romantically involved with Scherzinger following his romance with Swift. The Pussycat Dolls singer and Styles had a dalliance at the end of The X Factor in 2013 and met up again early last year, a source told The Sun in 2015. They hooked up over three years later when Harry had matured and was a member of the world's biggest band. He was 19 at the time while she was 35. Styles and Kendall Jenner's relationship took the world by storm when they started dating. They were reportedly spotted on several dates together. But while things seemed hot and heavy at first, the pair split shortly after they started seeing each other in February 2014, according to Seventeen. However, that wouldn't be the last time the two would join together again. After the two were seen together at a pumpkin patch in October 2014, rumors started flying that Harry was dating Jiggy and Bella Hadid's, now ex, stepsister. The relationship never seemed to go anywhere, however, but that's probably because of the 12-year age difference. Nadine was Harry's first foray into dating Victoria's secret models. The two were first spotted together in November of 2014. While they were seen on many Froyo dates and things seemed to be getting serious, the two split in March 2015. Apparently, Harry couldn't get enough of the VS models. 
He was spotted kissing the Portuguese model in New York back in 2015. The next day, Sara was spotted leaving Harry's hotel in the same clothes from the night before. Harry dated the model from New Zealand very briefly back in October 2015. She posted this video on her Snapchat of the two playing Scrabble together. While their romance was short-lived, many believe that Harry's song, Kiwi, is about the model as Kiwi is a common nickname for people from New Zealand. When asked about it, Georgia said she didn't really know anything about it, adding, she definitely don't have a baby, that's what the song is all about. After a brief romance the previous year, Kendall and Harry were seen spending New Year together, canoodling on a yacht. This content is imported from Twitter. You may be able to find the same content in another format, or you may be able to find more information on their website. A week later, our suspicions were confirmed when K.H. Lo Kardashian told Entertainment Weekly that the two were dating. Do I think they're dating? Yes, she said. I don't know if they're like boyfriend-girlfriend. Nowadays, I don't know. People are weird with stuff. So, I don't know their title. Things then went quiet for a little until April 2016, when Harry and Kendall were seen shopping together in Los Angeles. This came after Kendall was rumored to be dating LA Laker, Jordan Clarkson. Again in September 2016, the two were seen at dinner together and many thought they might be rekindling their relationship, though nothing was ever confirmed. During his possible on-again off-again relationship with Kendall, Harry was spotted leaving fashion stylist Pandora Leonard's house after spending the night. This came just a few weeks after K.H. Lo Kardashian confirmed Harry's relationship with Kendall. While Kendall and Harry are long broken up now, we hope this rumor of Harry cheating isn't true. Styles took a break from dating models by linking up with food blogger Tess Ward in 2017. They secretly dated until she ended things to get back together with an ex. Harry's most recent relationship was with Victoria's secret model Camille Rowe. Rumors of their relationship went wild after fans pointed out Harry's voice in Camille's Instagram story. While dating, Harry introduced Camille to his family. He was also once spotted holding her purse, which is adorable. Unfortunately, according to The Sun, the two broke up after a year together. The two exes still seem pretty close after they were spotted out and about in Los Angeles together, according to a Harry Styles fan account. Harry and Camille grabbed some lunch together, which caused fans to freak out that they are back together. But according to Life and Style, Camille is currently seeing someone, so it looks like these two exes are just really good friends. At least, this means that he's still single. Harry was connected to model Kiko Mizuhara, when rumors about the two datings began in early 2019, though Kiko quickly shut them down when she tweeted that she never met the singer. It's been reported that Harry Styles and I have been in a relationship, but I have no relationship with him, and I have never met him. The tweet roughly translates to, the world is full of fake news. People believe what they want to believe rather than questioning reality. Kiko's cover was blown, however, the next month when she was spotted at Harry's 25th birthday party in Tokyo. In a video from Instagram, you can see her celebrating with Harry, and while the two don't look necessarily cuddly, they clearly know each other. Since then, though, there wasn't too much info regarding Kiko and Harry's relationship, so the rumors pretty much tapered off. It's probably safe to say that, at this point, Harry is single, but you really never know. The couple's love was on full display during a recent stop on Harry Styles' Love on Tour. One lucky TikToker captured footage of Olivia Wilde dancing her heart out while Harry sang on stage. An eyewitness previously gushed about how excited Olivia was during Harry's opening night performance in Las Vegas. In September, the source told E! 
news, it was very cute. She was singing along to almost every song and having a good time with the people she was with. The couple first went public with their relationship when they attended a wedding together back in January 2021. According to People, the couple has actually been seeing each other for quite a while now, and a source told E. News, they have gotten serious quickly and have an intense connection and bond. At the beginning of the summer, Olivia and Harry spent some time in London together. At the time, Olivia's ex, Jason Sedeckes, is was in the city filming the second season of his show, Ted Lasso, so the pair was able to keep their kids together while enjoying time with their new respective partners. According to E!, Olivia and Harry had a great time in London, and Harry showed Olivia some of his favorite spots around town. Then, on July 4th, the pair took a romantic trip to southern Italy. In photos obtained by Page Six, you can see them really enjoying themselves while cuddling on a yacht. Things continue to heat up between the couple as they have reportedly been renting a home together. Although they keep their love offline, it continues through their frequent walks around the neighborhood. So, that was all about Harry Styles and his girlfriends. Which girlfriend do you think suited Harry the most? Comment your answer in the description box below. You can also tell us your topic for our next video. And as always, thanks for watching.